So now we're going to go to gedit and we're going to create a file. And in this file, we're just going to type one line, like so. You have to be careful because this is case sensitive, so you have to make sure you have the N, V, and the H capitalized. I'm going to save it in etc Apache 2. Apache 2 slash conf dot d slash and we're going to save it as virtual dot conf that's going to be the name of the file now we're going to create a new file um, this will be the actual configuration file for the website and the first thing is virtual host like that you gonna put a star a asterisk after it and you close that up once again this is case sensitive so make sure you got it right and we're gonna type in server admin um, server name is probably what you actually I know you have to have this or it won't know what you want the server to be called so I'm gonna put in the same name that you added to that host file and then you're going to do a server alias. Um, this section is to control the root directory um, and what the directory indexes are. Type in directory index and I'm going to call it index.html because that's that file that I created to test it with. And um, the directory root is the next thing. Directory root will be the where I created those folders my site ht docs is my directory root next you're gonna do the add the CGI directory CGI band directory I'm gonna do CGI band this one is for Apache's CGI band folder and then it'll look there first and then the one for the band folder that you created you have to let it know where the location of it is see this is the location thingy here. Type that in there. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I like to close these things off as soon as I create them. That way I won't forget to close them later. And you're going to add this options plus exec c cgi. I guess that makes the stuff inside of that folder executable. I really don't know what that does. And this section here is for the log files. And custom log put that in the same place and then we're going to save this inside of Apache 2 sites available we're going to save it as www.mysite.com we're going to save it I'm going to save it as the name of the uh, server of, that I'm trying to create here um, you don't have to save it you can actually name this anything you want but I named it the same name as the, the, the server thing so I can remember when I entered a command to enable it inside of Apache so we got that done now we're gonna go and open up a terminal and we're going to um, enable the site by typing in sudo a2ensite -E and the name of that file that of uh, configuration file that we just created and once it's, it's uh, enabled you tells you to run this command so you can um, reload Apache so make sure you go ahead and do that if you have any errors this is where they're gonna show up see I've got one on line 2 directory root I think I spelled that wrong um, so I'm gonna go back and fix that that's why I didn't close this this directory root is actually supposed to be document root I'm sorry about that fellas guys girls watchers and viewers that's it I'm sorry about that viewers <laughs> so I'm gonna save that go back to this statement here 
sudo statement right here let reload Apache because the site is still enabled it reload and it says there's another one error log, error log probably um, misspelled and it probably is so we're gonna go here and type in error log save it same thing and now it says I don't have enough arguments and I'm gonna see what I'm doing wrong and I will be right back here on the error log you actually have to give it the path and file name also on the custom log you have to give it a file name and type in one that combined I saw combined somewhere so that's what I'm typing in um, I think it'll combine all kinds of errors onto that log file and then hit save and we're gonna try it again pseudo thing and it says something else is wrong and it's saying the same thing so I'm gonna fix this and then I'll be back and tell you what's wrong okay so I forgot to tell you guys you see all this stuff here just ignore all that that error crap that's there I forgot to tell you that the reload command really doesn't work unless you already have Apache running I didn't have Apache running and to run Apache it's pseudo etc init the Apache 2 start so you type that in um, don't worry about having to redo that reload command if your Apache hadn't been running it's gonna go ahead and, and load up all that virtual host stuff that's why I'm getting this this error virtual host mixing ports and all that other crap just ignore that after you get Apache up and running type in your website name and hit enter and it should be found and that'll do it for adding virtual hosts to it uh, if you got any comments and questions uh, feel free to leave me at the bottom in the comment section thumbs up thumbs down don't forget to subscribe all that good jazz thanks for watching check you guys next time